isn't it weird to think that like Michael Keaton played this character based on like it's not based on any character like it's all just made up but it, it like when you watch it it seems like this had to have been based on a cartoon or something but it's like that shit came earlier or later after the movie and shit. like I yeah. can't imagine thinking to, how to do that Revival House Network. And don't like to brag, I don't like to boast. They like hot butter on the breakfast toast. Watching flicks, talking chicks, I like the motor boat. Can River Man make it your check? Nope. So look at all these movies I got. Commenting like, mmm, should we watch them or not? And I know they just be acting for cash. But I still got one question to ask. Like, why'd he do that? Do that? Do that? If that was me, I'd be like, screw that, screw that, screw that. I'm an alpha, I'd eat through that, through that, through that. Mmm, so why'd he do that, do that, do that? Mmm. All right, what's up, everybody? Week three of October celebration. Uh, so what did we do last week again? We did Pet Cemetery 2. We redid that. Oh, man, amazing. Uh, before that, we did Night of the Demons, which was a flick. I was shocked we hadn't done before, and this week, Up to Bat, is another movie that I'm surprised we haven't done before. Uh, we were down to either Arachnophobia or Beetlejuice. I stood my ground for Beetlejuice. Arachnophobia is the <laughs> inferior movie. Mac is high as fuck. <laughs> he's so he's not, he's eating ice cream. But he's That's high. He's not, dude, and Uncrustable, like Untouchables from corn. I thought that was <laughs> an ice cream. I thought that was an ice cream. Ice cream strawberry, sandwich. look at that. That's dude, funny. ice cream sandwiches are fucking amazing, though. But uh, yeah, so I'm stoked for doing Beetlejuice, Arachnophobia. I'm pretty sure my affinity for that flick is pretty much limited to nostalgia. I mean, it's all right. But uh, is there anything that people should know about this copy that we're about to watch? If, if you guys you aren't, sorry, if you guys aren't patrons and are watching it along with us live, you have to provide your own copy. So go ahead. Fucking, uh, it, it starts out with just a black screen and it's like three seconds and then the fucking Geffen logo shows up. Very Chad. Very that prominent. fucking David Geffen, man. All right. So before we get going, reminder, please like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, help us out in the algorithms and we're going to go ahead and get going in three, two, one, play. I should get rhythm when you get the blues. Come on and get rhythm when you get the blues and fucking get algorithm. When you get the blues, come on, get the algorithm. Fucking, we should make the new like a jingle. Fucking like uh, about the algorithm. It's like fucking mm. get algorithm. When you get the blues, come on, get the algorithm. And we just rip it off from that old Johnny Cash song. And then we can it just, it's called a jingle, and it's like fucking we make bank. The Geffen Company. I don't think I've ever seen that other than in this. You've never seen the David Geffen owns like a fucking Geffen shit ton Records, of stuff. dude. Fucking uh, yeah. The the Blink One Eighty Two Deftones. The Blink One Eighty Two uh, Untitled album was on Geffen. Very Chad. A lot yeah. of shit was on Geffen. Yeah. I like the way they put the fucking names in here. The fucking blues. that font. You like that the font? Blues. Yeah. It has a nice drop shadow. Jeffrey fucking. Jones. What do we say about that guy? Fucking, he Fuck is him. everybody's favorite, most loved, uh, good. Uh, Pete, no, no one has a bad thing to say about that actor. Like Plato, I, Plato, crazy, crazy. Like I've he's never, I've heard, I've heard he's never, but good things. Yeah, he's never played with Plato. He's never had an affinity for uh, Plato. When I was a kid, yo, I played with Plato. Remember that song from the Wood? Does that movie The Wood? It's like a hood movie. MTV Films did it, and it's fucking donk. It's like a fucking uh, coming of age film. It's basically like it's got all the greatest hits, like fucking, uh, oh, oh, fucking you and your friends, like, oh, we got to get a date to the prom, fucking, uh, it's just got all those fucking landmark things, like, oh, I'm going to get laid first, no, -uh, I will, fucking all that shit, it's in there, and it's a, it's a dank film, and, so uh, I, supporting what was I cast, say again, what I, was I bringing that, something, that something un <laughs> unrelated to fucking Beetlejuice, no doubt, but, I, I always forget that Dick Cavett's in this, the, the supporting cast. You got Robert Goulet, Dick Cavett. He's the guy that says, I think he's the one that says, Delia, you're a flake. You've always been a flake. You know, that guy when they fail to deliver in the seance when she invites everybody over. But Dick Cavett, you know, he always I thought you were show. saying Dick Havoc. I was like, that is a Chad name. I thought he was saying Dick, <laughs> Dick Warlock. Fucking amazing. Dick Havoc. Davey Havoc. Dick Havoc. <laughs> Davey Havoc. That's Davey Havoc's younger brother. Yeah. It's Richard. Okay. Richard Havoc. Richie. Richie. Little Richie. <laughs> little See, here's, 
here this opening shot here's where we find out oh this is arachnophobia i put that in instead oh look at that spider that's a big spider oh, i love that little spider yeah it's their house i I think this is a movie that I take for granted. It, when I think about really, really, really good movies, I don't ever really think about Beetlejuice just because it's kind of like a Jurassic Park or something like that where it's just kind of always been around in my life. And, you know, whenever it's on TV, it's not a movie you necessarily have to own because it's so easily accessible. But whenever it's on TV and syndication or whatever, cable, you don't stop. You stop <laughs> and watch it. Uh, but I think it's probably a perfect 10. I don't, I don't think there's – I can't think of anything that's wrong with it. I remember uh, when I was younger, fucking the toys were badass. I, I have Beetle some. Juice. I still Dude, have like some, Like that too. one where you put him and the guy in the car or whatever, mm-hmm. and you twist it, and it fucking, he comes out a different person. He, uh, he came with that like pink Cadillac looking thing, and it had the bullhorns or something on the front of it. And, and then the, there was the, that carousel one, too. I have that one still. Dude, that one's fuck. actually uh, that one's actually in my mud room downstairs, and he's got the little the bat wings or whatever. It's no, wait, that's, room. yeah. Is that where you mud wrestle all your fucking uh, fat, sweaty guys, friends? I'm trying to bring back Greco-Roman wrestling, trying to make it a thing, you know? The more Uh, homoerotic, the better. Fuck, it's like that scene from Son of Law. I'm trying to bring back Luchador wrestling. Isn't it really weird how back then, like, it's like the whole new world started post-Roman Empire collapsing, but back when the Roman Empire was thriving, homosexuality was the norm and small penises were the most chad. You know what I mean? Like you look at the statues and shit What's like changed? that. What's changed? What's changed? If you got a giant massive hog now, obviously you're you're fucking king supreme. But back then you were like a freak. You probably got you're like the elephant man. Fucking, that's good shit. Fucking, uh, <laughs> you know what's funny? We have done this movie before. We did it on no. a live stream, but it's oh. okay because we barely watched it. Fucking, I remembered I showed up wearing my flannel shirt that looks like his. And I was like, oh, remember, oh I'm, I'm cosplaying as fucking Alec Baldwin. Was I there, too? I think you... You were, yeah. I know. I remember so, you doing that now. Wow. So that... So that's <laughs> we actually, did we just do troll- this. Not we, even that long ago. We just trolled everybody. Well, wait. So was that actually posted? That's why I didn't find it, because I went through the BTM commentary like folder, you know, uh, it's, playlist. It, it was probably a live stream. Fuck, it might have even just, like... Like, maybe I didn't even archive it. Maybe I wasn't happy with it, and fucking... Uh, I knew we'd redo it. I don't know. But I know we we did it. I mean, it's got to be somewhere. Well, this is the definitive version, so it's all good. Exactly. That was the, the shit version. Cut. That was the shit version. That's basically fucking. Remember back in the day, you get the uh, the the Arnold. You get fucking uh, what's that? What was that movie? Total Recall. You get uh-huh. that sh- shitty ass Blu-ray, and then they put out the fucking what was it called? The mind bending edition. The mind bending <laughs> edition. The, the total mind bending edition. Like, wait, you mean you guys didn't want to title it? We fucked you over on the last copy edition. Here's a new one. Cause they even made a special feature on that where they showed the comparison of the first fucking Blu-rays transfer to the new one. The I mean, that's kind of a slap in anybody's face. It's like, why would you make that a special feature? Like, hey, we're going to compare it to the shitty one we duped you all into buying just two years ago. Fucking, I doubt they duped them into buying it. It's probably just the fucking company was just like, oh, this movie ain't on Blu-ray. Let's put it out. Fucking didn't even get the fucking okay from the transfer and shit. But it does look like ass. And that 4K, though, I got to say, looks amazing. That's that's a movie that's worthy of jumping up to 4K. It looks really good. It's really good. Oh, yeah. Fucking uh, Gina Davis. Is she a Stacy or is she weird looking? Would you Gina her Davis? One. She's a goofy one. She yeah. has a very unique look, but I think oh, she's very Stacy. I think she's, she's got a movie. she's got a Chad jawline. I don't know. Exactly. She's got a very very pronounced uh, skull <laughs> fucking formation. That's how you know you can fucking like when a chick has a really nice jawline. It's like fucking that's just more to stub in your mouth, my dear. I, I fucking I just like uh, slurred my words. Stub in your mouth. Fucking uh, it's like stubbing well, your toe. We'll make that a thing. I'm going to stub in your mouth. No, uh, is, sh- sh- I have this Mandela. <laughs> a brick in your mouth. I have this Mandela effect where it's like, oh, Gina Davis totally has a, an Adam's apple. But every time I look, I'm like, oh, she doesn't have an Adam's apple. Fucking Gina Davis. Fucking, you are so beta, Aaron. Fucking, you, I think this has to do some subconscious thing. You fucking think, like, I'm afraid I'm going to look at a woman and just get a hint of a man. Fucking uh, low T. Fucking, you got to fuck through that, through them feelings. Like this guy right here, you know he does. She's just too fuck? tall. He's like, what the fuck did you say to me, boy? Fucking, yeah. Are you talking are you day, making fun of Aaron or are you making fun of the old guy in the movie? Because fucking. Better be here for a haircut, <laughs> little bitch. 
I hope here's where they die. Yeah, we've been talking over not even talking about this great film. Basically, we meet Gina Davis and Alec Baldwin. They're just they're fucking happy go lucky couple, and they fucking uh, they're just going about their day. And right here, they die. And basically, this whole movie is like uh, you know they fucking everybody knows the plot of this movie. They they become ghosts. They come back. They they find that book. Uh, you know the book for the recently deceased. And they're like, holy shit, we're dead. Like everybody knows this film. It's a fucking classic. <laughs> like if if you don't know this film, what the fuck? Fucking kill that dog. Well, and also just from a writing standpoint, this movie does it right. I, it, it doesn't take any time, right? Getting into it, right? Oh, we fuck. Sorry about that, guys. I mean, what is it fucking in the first five minutes they're dead and they're going to like be in the neither world and all that stuff. It just gets right into it. It doesn't, it doesn't make you wait around. Eight minutes. Fucking. Yeah. It's did it. awesome. Did it right. That's awesome. Big jazz shit. One thing. Uh, yeah. Like fucking, uh, this is one of those movies. Yeah. I was the same way. It's like, I don't even really think about it much, but then like when I watch it again, it's like, Oh, this is at least a fucking nine out of 10. Like fucking, I love this shit. This is like a live action fucking cartoon. Like, uh, it, it's very Bill and Ted bogus journey. esque. it's just like mm-hmm. fucking all these movies. Goofy. I like, they're like, uh, they're like live action cartoons in a way. And they do so much. So you like didn't a, think Stacy as fuck when she looked at him like that with her lips hanging open? I don't think she's ugly or anything. I just think she's too tall, and I, I don't know, just not my type. But uh, you know, fuck. like I said, she's got a very pronounced skull there on that one. No, I would but this, pronounce that skull. But they do a lot with limited set. Like you know, it doesn't have that many. It takes place in this house, and they do a lot with that Gina, because Gina Davis, I want your skull, fucking uh, bitch. I need your skull. Yeah. You think he was talking, what if the whole time he was talking about that shitty, uh, that mud shit that people put in their lip and spit? Fucking you oh, the skull. skull. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm surprised the skull company didn't fucking license that song and do that. It's the good stuff. What? None of that uh, pussy skull. What do you Dad? think of, uh, what do you think of Death Becomes Her, Zach? Love that fucking movie. What is that? Is it, to me, that's, that's a- kind of goofy. That's kind of like this. Well, yeah. So Death Becomes Her is in my that's one of my favorite movies ever. And it, I was actually thinking about this the other day because I was watching, I was rewatching who framed Roger rabbit. And I, and I just, I went on my letterbox and I just kind of looked at all the Robert Zemeckis flicks. I'm like, you know what? Pound for pound out of like the big Hollywood blockbuster directors of old. He's the greatest. I mean, because he had so many, in my opinion, 10 out of tens, you know, or or close to it. Who Framed Roger Rabbit? I love Death Becomes Her. That's just a personal favorite of mine. It's it's one of these fun type movies. And then you got Becomes. your Back to the Future. But you got your Back did he, to the Future. Did he make too. that movie with Brad Pitt? Which one? What was it? The Cool World or some shit? What was it? No. Why would he do that? Brad, and do the one with Brad Pitt. What was that? I would. Oh, yeah. that, cool. Cool, cool World came after Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Why would he go to that after doing Who Framed? <laughs> cool World's shit. That's not cool. Cool World's is fucking amazing. <laughs> cool World's like fucking the, there's a reason they call it Cool World. It's the coolest fucking movie ever made. <laughs> <laughs> it's the coolest we'll try, fucking I'm, world, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Cool planet, bro. Hell yeah. <laughs> we just want to save some trees. I mean, we like. We want to save some freaking trees. <laughs> fucking lit as fuck, man. <laughs> All right. Sorry about that. But I mean, like Robert Zemeckis, yeah, who framed Roger Rabbit? He did Death Becomes Her. He did, I mean, Forrest Gump. I know people, hipsters love to shit on that movie. Like it's, go to like. Why do they, why do they like to shit on that movie? Like the film elite is called it the worst movie ever made. I'm like, you guys need to get out of your own assholes. Like, is it like a meme? Like kind of like fucking, are they, are they trying to like, are they self-aware at least that it's like, oh yeah, we're mocking kind of the like self-important pretentious fuck that would think (laughs) Forrest Gump is like the shittiest movie ever. Amazing. No, I mean, if if that's the case, it started out that way, and then like generations of people after that don't realize it's a joke, and they don't want to come off as not being hip to the crowd. But anybody that says they don't like Forrest Gump or they've never sat and watched it when it's you know been channel surfing is lying. It's a good flick. So yeah, he's pound for pound. He's got a lot of good ones. How was everybody? We're, we're good. Uh, I wanted to see how you guys would react if I like fucking looked really shocked and ran off, but I was only going to get my drink. 
I didn't. Yeah. I thought I, I was watching. I thought, movie. I, I thought I was gonna come back. We were like, we thought you're fucking like a, a burglar broke in or fucking your house caught on fire or something. The fucking. <laughs> I didn't hear an alarm, so I didn't have any cause for concern. So you didn't answer Max's question. What do you think a death becomes her? I like it. Yeah. <laughs> Nostalgia like plays n- nostalgia plays a little bit into that one, like, but it's it's really good. I've been watching that one since a little kid. This one though, undisputed. There's no nostalgia. That's just a fun movie. That's a fun movie. I would I would put it almost on the same level as this movie. Fun but Death Becomes Death it does it does have nostalgia. I've been watching that movie since I was a little kid. Uh, but this movie though, undisputable. It's just um, it's awesome. It's got a great pace. Super fun. It could be treated as a seasonal flick, and it's got uh. Michael Keaton, man, it's got a Michael a char- Keaton is like fucking amazing in this film. Big it, shit. It's just peak Tim Burton too. Like he was at his most creative, and he was such a unique director. And I think isn't this is it, he should have stopped. Crazy? He should have stopped after, in the mid '90s somewhere. Just he became a Disney shill, and now he's just I don't know, kind of shit on his. Uh, he he was one of the most unique directors. Yeah, fucking, it's too bad what ended up happening. But like fucking. Uh, um, you, isn't it weird to think that like Michael Keaton played this character based on like it's not based on any character like it's all just made up but it, it, like when you watch it it seems like this had to have been based on a cartoon or something but it's like that shit came earlier or later fucking after the movie and shit like I yeah. can't imagine thinking to, how to do that yeah I have, just the concept of Beetlejuice the whole the idea is so creative the fact that it's not based on anything and even if he did find some inspiration off something else I don't know what the fuck it would be and it, he twisted it enough to make it super unique still but the concept of this neither world thing and then there being this bad rebel spirit that doesn't play by the rules of the neither world this Beetlejuice guy and fucking Beetlejuice he's a uh, uh, fucking uh, what's an exorcist he's like he's basically like, fuck you need help getting your fuck this it's really so basically yeah the plot is they're fucking they want to stay in their house but like this new family comes in they don't realize like oh they're ghosts and shit so they're trying to get rid of the family one of which is Winona Ryder the goth Stacy the fucking uh, sexy goth bad girl if you know what I mean fucking to our King Cobra so the sex goth bad boy but like he definitely <laughs> needs to hang out with Winona but like uh, yeah what was I saying I was explaining the plot right yeah explaining the plot he's a reverse yeah. exorcist basically mm-hmm. so he comes and he's like oh I'm gonna help you fucking get rid of those new fucking pesky uh, family you know run, coming in your house and they, they don't want to use them because they've heard bad things about him like oh fuck don't don't whatever you do don't fucking get that guy involved like he's fucking he's fucking crazy and she like I, I fucking yeah I've heard about him fucking he, he's he's kind of like a big fucking baddie in this uh, universe they all know him very chill. And it's it's cool because he's the big bad, he's the antagonist, yet he's the title character. It's mm-hmm. fucking it's it's really weird. But um they're not gonna call the movie Alec Baldwin or anything. Here's Otho. Otho has the handbook. But um mm-hmm. no, it's 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 such a genius idea and it's crazy because once it dawns on you, it's also simple at the same time. Like you can tell that he might have just had the idea of the shower in the shower of like ghosts and wouldn't it be funny if they had it the other way around? He might have just been watching like some show on TV about someone getting an exorcism on their house, one of these paranormal type things. And he's like, hey, that'd be funny if it was like in reverse. Like, what's it like on their end, right? Well, what? And just you could tell once that clicked, the movie probably came together so fucking easy. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about the family moving into the house. We got Scarlett O'Hara as the mom. What Scarlett do you O'Hara? Catherine O'Hara? Catherine O'Hara, fucking different who's, actresses. Who's Scarlett O'Hara. <laughs> I think she was in fucking maybe not today, maybe not. Is she in like Casablanca? Fucking that's old school shit. Yeah, that's old school. Shit. It, you know what though? There is something I can't put my finger on it. There's kind of something milfable about uh, Catherine O'Hara. There's something fucking about that. her. Fucking, there's no. It's, it's it's just the whole package. There's nothing. It's not like a little piece that you got to fucking find. It's it's all there. Very Stacy. And just the fact that it's like I, you want a nut in Kevin's mom, because she'll always she'll always be Kevin McAllister's mom to me, even well, though this while Kevin fucking watches. <laughs> okay, all right. I you always got to do the you always got to take it one step further with me. Why? Why? So is he like in the corner trying to edge right? And he's like part of the game. Like you hear me? I'm not gonna come anymore. You hear me? Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. But no, the movie's great. The supporting cast is fantastic, as you said. Even Jeffrey Jones, man, he was such a 
a staple of the eighties and Tim Burton, obviously for a while, but, uh, Tr- we should really make a, a like a black comedy based on his life satirical and he's like the fucking the, the pedophile actor and character actor with the heart of gold and it's like fucking maybe he, in the movie we kind of you know lie and say that he's just more loved than he really is fucking and uh, it'll, it'll be amazing fucking like you know it'll it'll be kind of a critique of the fucking the Weinstein motherfucker and all this shit it'll it'll be it'll really blow minds it would have to be total parody and you couldn't use real names because he was never convicted just shamed. Exactly. Or shame on him. Was he did he he wasn't convicted, right? I don't Allegedly. Know. Who knows? But you know, Pete Townsend also wasn't convicted either. So he was doing research. So Jeffrey Jones was just doing research for his upcoming role in House Guest. That would have been exactly. my excuse. Exactly. Fucking we just saw uh fucking uh uh I forget her name. Gina Davis, we saw her with that weird goth makeup on, that dead corpse makeup where they walk in and she's holding the head and she got the knife. Very Stacy there. She looked like a corpse. I would fuck the Gina Davis corpse. I, I couldn't tell you why I don't have the same nostalgia for it, but Edward Scissorhands is just as unique and fucking batshit, you know? But it is. I, I just, I don't know. I've probably sat and watched that movie three or four times start to finish my entire life. So in this one, I've just seen probably a fucking hundred. So uh, maybe that's just the difference. But I'd like to re-watch that one too sometime. Winona Ryder's in that one too. She what like do you guys got, think of Winona? Uh, she's cute, man. And he, her boyfriend Stacey. was Anthony Michael Hall in that. And he played the bully. He played the jock. And I think at the time, that was a huge clash. Because, you know, it had only been, it had been less than 10 years, right? Since he was the nerd. He was the nerd and all. I love, the, that. I love that robot walking into the shot right there. Fucking just a robot with the evil robot us's. That's what it looks oh, yeah. like. It's the fucking same Bill fucking shit. Yeah. Big big Chad, big Stacy here. Yeah. I was thinking like for a second, like the reason I remember this was a redo is because I was like, Oh yeah, don't I have I was sitting here while we were doing this and I'm like, Don't I have a flannel shirt that looks just like that? I should go get it. And then I was like, Wait, didn't this happen before? <laughs> That's so funny to think that, like, before it was like the first time I didn't even think about it until I was watching the movie. And I was like, oh, I have that. I should go get it. Fucking. And then it just happened again. It's like fucking, we're living in a loop. I love all the stop motion in this, man. This is fucking great. I mean, I I don't know if people had mo- mostly moved on from stop motion in the late, late, late 80s or not, but. Uh, it fucking works, though. It's so it, whimsical and cartoony. Yeah, it's it, like fit, it's just, it fits. It's so great. I mean, just look, because it's like the neither world. Look at the backgrounds and how it looks like Pee Wee's Playhouse. Exactly. exactly. Everything about another, it is so inventive. And, another uh, creation of our boy. I don't, know for, I don't know for facts, but I'm willing to bet all this stuff was art design because he was an animator, Tim Burton. Mm-hmm. He was an animator first. He worked for Disney before he got Pee Wee's Big Adventure. And uh, Did Tim Burton create Pee Wee Herman or did Paul Rubens? Paul Rubens created him. Paul Rubens created him with Phil Hartman. So did uh did, did fucking uh, he had Tim a st- Burton know him? No, so that was his first movie. So obviously he wasn't going to be allowed to be full fledged Tim Burton and getting like a studio budget. So he kind of was a director for hire. He was just kind of taking the uh-huh. job, establishing himself. Pee Wee Herman, Paul Rubens had a stage show, a popular Broadway show, and he played that character. That's where it came from. Isn't that lucky that the one he took for hire seems like right in his wheelhouse already? What a fucking Chad. Well, what a fucking Chad. So they they did that movie and it put everybody on the map. I mean, Pee Wee was already like they were playing that shit on HBO and shit, right? He had an HBO special off the Broadway show. But after the movie came out, they decided, let's give this guy a kid's cart, a kid show on Saturday mornings, which is really fucking bizarre. It really tells you right there that nobody gets the audience. It's the same thing with Ren and Stimpy. Like, that shit just passed by on Nickelodeon, and the creators of that were just seeing how much they could get away with. They knew what they were doing. If you watch that Orange Years uh, documentary, they talk about it. Like, yeah, we just kept pushing it and pushing it and pushing it. And even, like, uh, the president, or I don't remember what her role was at the time, she's even like, I mean, this was like fucking 1991. I didn't know what a dingleberry was. Nobody did. So it's just like, whatever, you know, go for it. (laughs) So... 
Really what funny. Is a dingleberry exactly? Is that when shit gets stuck to your hair, or is it like when you get the little dried fucking toilet paper uh, pieces? That's the first stuck one. Stuck to your hair? The first one. Fucking, that seems like too out of, like, that's something monkey person would fucking uh, relate to. <laughs> okay. Why would I know what the fuck? The, the other one makes more sense. Like, just like a modern day interpretation or something. I don't fucking know. But. What if that's just that old of a, a thing? Like, back when we were monkey men, we were saying fucking, like, oh, yeah, dingleberries. Dingleberries. I don't know. Fucking that. And it just stuck with us. But, yeah, whoever did the set design and stuff like that. Tim Burton did all the artwork. I mean, I'm convinced. I mean, it, it always has his stamp on it. And then, yeah, you talked about Michael Keaton. And Michael him, Skeeton. Michael Skeet. Michael Skeeton pulling out that performance. It's weird because it is very unique, but at the same time, it does sound like Michael Keaton, but because exactly. Michael Keaton, he would always do these like spaz, have these spaz outs in his early stuff, right? And he would have like like these freak yeah. outs, but it's like, hey, do that tw- the whole movie, like never go out of that, but act like you just injected cocaine into your cock. That's the thing too, is like they couldn't tell him like, well, you can't just tell actors to do do a cartoon voice. It's like they usually don't do like like that, like a cartoon voice. So it's just like fucking, yeah, just like be yourself on fucking eighteen thousand. Uh, because times. that's what it is. I mean, because he never quite went into that Beetlejuice voice, right? It's think think Batman eighty nine. Yo, you want to get nuts? Come on, let's get nuts. He would kind of do that, but he takes it to another level in this, where he's he almost added, in a. He, he added some gravelly into his voice for a gen. Yeah. That's what you do. Yeah. And it was more like yelling. Exactly. It keeps getting funnier every single time. Yeah, that whole thing. But he never stops it. And it's that's pretty much what it is. For a gen. I'm trying to do an impression of him right now. <laughs> hey, baby. Want to see my bandana? Fucking, I can't do it. I can't do the fucking Chad voice. Even, yeah, even his lower register stuff is just like Michael Keaton would do, but still like... uh exaggerated like mm-hmm. you know michael keaton would do that too he's like oh you know you're gonna you do the, he would kind of like do that kind of like side hustle talk but beetlejuice is like yeah extra gravel and extra i think mumbly. i just realized i think i think i just realized i want to fuck michael keaton i think i just realized that fucking maybe i am gay and this is my coming out story <laughs> bisexual. bisexual i think i just fucking realized i just want to i just want to fucking take a brick to the face from michael keaton michael skeeton i want to call him michael skeeton <laughs> he with fucking does it Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We're seeing the Winona. She's going up the fucking the the smoke behind her. She just got done blazing a big fat ass fucking vape, and she's high as fuck. She's gonna go see some ghosts and shit. She gonna see that ghost shit. So this was the movie that he did right after Pee Wee, and I would love to know the story about him casting Michael Keaton and just Michael Keaton. Like, what did Michael Keaton think? Not in the 4K. I haven't watched the special features. Uh, but I I'd like to know that. what would buy that, yeah. what was his opinion like what what do you when you're an actor and you fucking read this script and it's like a second time director it's the guy who did Pee Wee and then you read this you know I wonder how hard it is for him to sign on it was really different than anything he'd done at the time because he had been doing like arguably kind of they're not really family comedy like even Mr. Mom it's kind of got some non family stuff in there but more or less it's like your mom or dad's type of comedy. This almost seems like a movie that could have been made by Nickelodeon whenever, like, Are You Afraid of the Dark and shit were big. Like, just something that they would think of. Yeah. Well, that's the whole, like, thing with Nickelodeon is just they ripped off Beetlejuice, their whole aesthetic. But it's possible. It's edgier it's possible. than, it's too edgy for Nickelodeon. And they, I don't think so. I don't know. <laughs> they even, they, they even there. cash in, they cash in on their one fuck bomb for a PG-13, too, and it's super powerful. Right, the nice. I forget f- it. I don't remember it. Nice fucking model, and he does the honk <laughs> on his little. Yeah. He honks his cock. <laughs> what? And you know he's very. Uh, he goes to the strip club. Like he's like, oh. <laughs> he's like, yeah. He's like, I didn't put that there. That whole thing. And he goes to the strip club and. Um, the 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 chick at the end, whenever he's uh, whenever he goes to that split place in half, so, touching her leg. Yeah. Well, they're fucking the not, not that one, but the one running the counter with the split wrists. She's hot, very Stacy. Yeah, very she's stazy. very very hot. She got some big jugs too. I would have sex with those slit wrists. <laughs> she looks like she came from Hellraiser. And he's so funny. Like when they're when when he's like, "Can we have a minute?" When they're tr- trying to work out a deal, <laughs> and they're like talking. He's like lifting up her skirt with a stick. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Why? Very, what? 
See, it is based on fucking Weinstein. He wasn't made for this era because he'd be me too so much. I mean, from touching the girl's yeah, legs to you know looking. He's up fucking her disgusting. He I was gonna marry. An, he's gonna marry an underage girl. Exactly. You know, she's a high school kid. I don't think they've determined See, if she's a senior or a freshman. What if, what if that's why Jeffrey Jones signed on? He thought he was going to be Beetlejuice. Or in the original draft, there was like a whole threesome cuck sequence. And that's why oh, he, yeah. Uh, yeah, he inked the line. See, I always loved this. Like, this is the idea of like, oh, we died. We found this book uh, for a manual for the recently deceased. And then it's like, they fucking read it. And it tells them like, oh, you need to come visit us. Ask questions. Just draw a fucking door out and chalk and fucking knock on it three times. And then it fucking it literally it's, opens up. It's a portal. super event inventive. And, uh. So, and so much to where it's like I grew up thinking it would be so much cooler if this is how it is. Like you really exactly. wake up and you're just as cognizant and you're just like real life, but not. And then you have a place to go. And and then it, on that other side, it's kind of like normal life again, but their version of normal. There's waiting rooms and all that shit. You, gotta, you basically got to share a house with a Play-Doh file, basically as hell or uh, purgatory, whatever it is. Yeah. And fucking if you leave the house, you'll see big sand worms. Big sand worms. Very creepy. Yeah, no, that would be cool. Uh, I, you know, because the, the cartoon explored what the neither world is like on a broad sense. This one, we just get kind of get a little glimpse because we just see the lobby, the neither world lobby and all that shit. And we see the house and it's only in those that little spurt where he like is in the, the desert and the sand worms and stuff. It makes you kind of wish know. you could. It's like a Hellraiser thing. It just it play it does more playing with your mind than anything. I don't think I've ever watched the cartoon like any episode all the way through. I loved it. I, back when I was a kid, I don't know if it's aged well. I don't, it might be a case where it's one of those things. You know, they have to kidify everything, kind of like they did with Ghostbusters. Like, ah, let's make Slimer their friend this time. Yeah, he can be like their Scooby Doo, not an enemy. Bullshit like that, and uh, and but they did that. It's like okay, in this in Beetlejuice. Ah, uh, that's where they ran into a problem because Beetlejuice is so popular and it was called Beetlejuice. He was the namesake, but he was the bad guy. It's like, shit. Well, we want to milk this and make it for kids because kids love it. But this whole him did, being bad thing. That shrunken head guy that's in the fucking lobby right there. Did he ever show up in the cartoon? I don't think so. I don't recall. He Shrunk actually, he, he might have. He might have. But uh, yeah, so they made Beetlejuice good. Not only did they make him a good guy, they made him and Lydia BFFs. And Amazing. and if I'm correct, everybody Wait, was and, him and Winona Ryder's character. Yeah, they made him best friends, and he tried to like fucking rape her in in, sta in statutory <laughs> marriage. Uh, yeah, so they told. Oh, well, are are the Gina Davis and Alec Baldwin character ever in the no, show? No, it's just no, no. I didn't think so. Yeah, it's just her parents. Uh, so they basically that, that that's the only way you would make Beetlejuice a friend is just if you get rid of them. Yeah, yeah. So the basically the premise of the show is you have the Dietzes. And I don't remember how she discovers Beetlejuice, but she's able to call him Beetlejuice, 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 and he'll come from the neither world and he'll be summoned. And they're like best friends. And, and it's remember that show Dragon Tales? I do. OK, I do so that. it's like that shit where they would go into the dragon land and she would just whenever, you know, the episode is she would call him Beetlejuice and he would take her to the neither world. And and they were like best friends and he would come and he would always like call her like, hey, babes, what's up, babes? And all that stupid shit. And. Did they get the Chad himself to reprise the voice? No, he was. They, they, they the never. Voice. They never did. They always got cheaper actors, and those actors wouldn't even degrade themselves by doing cartoons. Fun. They did that with Ghostbusters too. It's like, what's his face? Why couldn't uh, they all be like fucking the the Bill and Ted show where they fucking actually did it for the first season? That's very weird too, and interesting that that is that, weird to they, think. <laughs> Ernie Hudson auditioned to be Winston in the real Ghostbusters. He didn't even like. He auditioned uh, and it's, yeah, it's like, well, what do you do with that audition? Like they don't even offer you the role. I'm going to go to this audition. And what do you say? Like, I'm the guy that did, I am Winston. What else do you need me to fucking do? That, uh, it almost seems like we can't have you because then it fucking throws everything else off. Like we can't just have one real ghostbuster. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's weird. And it's like, even the inside joke, even if the adults behind the show wanted to make an inside joke, like, Oh, it's funny. Cause we have the guy that would do anything for a paycheck actually doing He's the only one. Ah, it's kind of funny. He's even, makes sense, but kids aren't going to get it. Um, but kids wouldn't have gotten it back then either. So I don't really know. I wouldn't even let fuck if that was a joke going on while I was working on that show. I would not fucking let that. Happen. I would, I would pay Ernie Hudson to, and, and not even make him do anything. 
Okay, he could just be an executive he, producer. He really never left that guy. I mean, he he's Winston in real life in the acting world. And even when Ghostbusters was huge, he was still that guy. Like, I'm not fucking above it. I think he said that during the interview I did with him. Or maybe I addressed it, but... Yeah, he was still fucking going to auditions for the cartoons. He wanted to take any any work he could get. And, uh, you know, that's the way you do it. Unless you fucking blow up, like, really early in your career, like a Leonardo DiCaprio <laughs> relatively early, take all the work you can get. And that's what a lot of guys will say in the industry. They're like, my advice to you, uh, somebody that's, like, esteemed or larger, is don't fucking turn down work. Like, a lot, they say a lot of filmmakers, uh, directors and shit like that, They'll turn down shit because, you know, they want to play the fucking game and and wait for the right project because every uh, every offer taken is a opportunity lost. That's just that's always the case. Whenever you take something, a lot of other windows are going to close naturally. And but ninety nine point nine percent of directors or actors shoot themselves in the foot. So they always suggest do everything. Take fucking all the work you can get. So it paid off for Winston. So. Fucking, I, I, I couldn't imagine myself doing that, being the Eli Roth of today. Fucking, Just sitting around for 15 years and not really directing anything and just putting your name on shit as a show? Yeah. No, I mean, See, this is, it's this like, is cool it's, shit. it's awesome. Very much, this is very much like the fucking uh, old uh, uh, grandma uh, Bill scene. The, you know what it kind of looks like? If you would have, if you would tell, that was like Hellraiser. That was like Uncle Frank. If you would have told yeah. somebody that was none the wiser that, oh, they made this movie off the cartoon. I, it was it would be believable because it almost looks like it was a cartoon first, and they made a live action cart. This looks like it was made inspired That's by a cartoon. That's what I was saying. That's what's so unique about it is like it's it's hard to believe this was like fucking. I I kind of uh, like when you watch stuff like this and you notice things like that. You kind of I, I give fucking it's like uh, Alice Tim in the Burton, Wonderland. Yeah, I it's... give Tim Burton a little more credit than the. I, I I fucking uh, it's just like oh we give him so little because he does what he does now and it's just like fucking we forget that he, like, he had he a streak really good. he had a real he had a streak and I yeah people kind of forget but like if you can just carve out that one piece what would it have been like that fucking seven years Ed Wood was probably his last right or I mean I don't know it depends stuff like Sleepy Hollow Sweeney Todd that's like uh, it's still kind of Tim Burton but. No, I mean, I think like Ed Wood is probably where where I would draw the line, but uh, it was good. And even Batman Return that's all. I, that's why I love Batman Returns the best. It's my personal favorite because it is what it is, right? He wasn't going to do that movie. They were going to have somebody else do it anyway, and it was not coming together. So they went crawling to Tim Burton, and and he's like, "No, I don't want to do Batman again. I want to do my shit." And they said, "All right, will, will you do it if we let you make it a Tim Burton movie? Like, do whatever you want with it. We just we just need you to get this shit going because it's it's falling apart." And they took the ball with, and they ended up regretting it because it's like, "Oh fuck, you know, we don't we don't want this guy back because he we couldn't sell our fucking happy meals. This guy had vomiting penguins, you know, at the end and shit like <laughs> vomiting up that black Dude, ooze or that's whatever." That's the best Batman. It is the best Batman. You got fucking Max Shrek fucking electrocuted and mortified. Dude, you that got, game was my shit. The game, the Super Nintendo game was great. Oh, hell yeah. Just the just the overall concept of the Penguin, if I have to say it again. Right. His entire motive was, oh, he was a horny, horny fucking unloved kid with daddy mommy issues. That was it. And his motive in the movie was to fucking kidnap all the firstborn kids in Gotham and drown them and kill them because <laughs> mommy and daddy didn't love him either, so they're all gonna die too. Fuck, it's it's pretty brutal. <laughs> and 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 it's funny because the fat clown just spells out the whole plot in that one scene. I don't know, uh, killing sleeping kids isn't that a little? Uh... And then he kills them. No, it's a lot. <laughs> it's just like he kind of stops everything and like it's what we're all thinking too, but. Sometimes that's all you need, man. That's that's like all the motive. You don't need somebody that wants money or wants notoriety. Just the fact that he was like this horny, sexually suppressed and oppressed and is funny. <laughs> oh, yeah. Exactly. <clears throat> that game was my shit, though. Look, she just hit a fat vape and it's just it's oozing. Look her out eyes, of, they're her, fucking her donked. Pussy. Her eyes are so her fucking pussy. donked. Look at hey, I'm looking yeah. like a skeleton. That's pretty clever too, just like the throat. Yeah, it's oozing out of her throat, pussy. Like you ever had that you know girl? That can you know how many cocks I take in this throat? You ever <laughs> have that girl that can smoke a joint through her pussy? No. Fucking beta. 
<laughs> Beta, Beta Rourke. <laughs> that big ass line on her forehead makes me think that she has a wig on. <laughs> it's like where they fucking put the makeup. I mean, <laughs> who knows? Probably. And it's all. Yeah, it's how fine. clever is it too that in the neither world, you you exist and you appear as you died. That's fucking awesome too. And these guys, well, oh. but, but but what's the logic here? They died. They just drowned. I guess they didn't get banged up too bad, I'm assuming. When they fell in the water, they fell off the bridge. Did you right. notice that that bridge was not high enough to kill them? Yeah, that's always... It has. It doesn't bug me, because it's a cartoony movie anyway, but... <laughs> yeah, I just... I, bridge I guess, like too, yeah, I guess you can... Tiny as fuck. I guess maybe it's like, oh, well, maybe they just fucking immediately hit the top of the car and they got knocked out. And it, fucking, it, did, you, did you ever feel sorry for this fucking fly when he started... This no, it, is genius it's, for it's, the fly. Everything about it looks fucking great. Look how fucking awesome hey, that is. Over here. Yeah. You know, is the good fly boy. actually is the fly crying out in pain or is it just Beetlejuice? Fucking I, n- I never knew. Help me, help me. Yeah. Yeah, I've never feel bad for the fly. I've never known. I mean, since flies can't talk. I think I it's him do. goofing off. <laughs> what was that the what's the story fly. of him being named at Beetlejuice after a star? Because I'm like every kid in in America that didn't know Beetlejuice was a star until fucking that's much funny later. Because that's <clears throat> that's what my cat's named. His name's Count Basil Geis or Beetlejuice. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> uh, and yeah, that's right, Count. But yeah, I mean, look when I when I learned about that the star, I'm like, what? The fucking the movie? They ripped off uh, the Beetlejuice. Did Tim Burton adopt a star and name it after the character? And then I also never understood why <sighs> his name is spelled like the star, but in the title it's Beetlejuice. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if that was like an afterthought, like a studio thing, like after the movie was already done, right? Like, hey, let's, let's, we got to change this. You know what I mean? Because it's not referenced anywhere else. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know if the, the studio was like, yeah, we're kind of like with your characters in the movie, Beetle, Beetle Geist, Beetle Breakfast, Beetle, oh, Beetle. It's like, yeah, people are going to find it confusing. People are going to see Beetle with a G, Beetle Geist, Beetle Juice on the marquee, and they're not going to know how to say it or what it is. And they're not going to know what to call it when they talk about it to their friends when they see a trailer. So let's let's dumb it, dumb it down. Anyway. Fucking, now, they're, now they're trying to scare them. Fucking, uh, yeah, didn't the, uh, basically the, uh, the lady that runs the fucking, uh, the, the ghost dimension, she's like, fucking, she told him you gotta get rid of them, uh, fucking, uh, scare them, or whatever. So yeah, like, yeah, like, dude, trying. go classic, don't, don't reach for outside help, and they're gonna get fed up, because it's not working, and then they're gonna go reach out to Beetlejuice against, uh, you know, the, the better advice. See, look, they're wasting their time here, they could either be fucking filming an art movie with, uh, an, that new me rapist rapist whatever her name is and she could eat a pie and uh fucking or they could uh they could go fucking uh strangle um pj souls okay <laughs> very chad she has the most dramatic death in halloween like she looks so stupid right like the face she puts on her face is like See, they were, they, well they were fucking they were hinting at big cum like whenever you fucking choke yourself and masturbate that's what they were going for We're spooky. Oh. Fucking, they're watching uh, some wrestling there. She's watching some wrestling. Yeah, I think. Um, shit. I think it was later. I don't. I didn't realize it was Michael Keaton when I was super young. Like I had been watching this, and then I'd watch Batman and Batman Returns, and it was somewhere after Batman Returns that I found out, like, oh, that's Batman, and I never knew. You know exactly, but then when it, with it, but then when you're informed, it's like, of course it is. Like, how did I ever fucking see this? Like, of course it is. Uh, exactly. Fucking. I remember, like, when I was so young, I used to like, I didn't realize uh, people were acting in movies. Yeah. I remember the first time I found out that, like, in slasher movies, oh, they don't really die. Fucking. Uh, yeah, they um, don't make snuff films for our entertainment. Yeah, and they and then, they like, capitalize on it. I thought about. It, I was like, how the fuck did I think they were really dying? <laughs> like, fuck, like man, I like, think I hope. I hope the families of that cast of I Spit on Your Grave got a great severance. Shit. You know, like they oh, got exactly. some good payday. See, look right here. Fucking, uh, this is where, uh, our, the Stacy fucking, uh, she, she, uh, meets up with them and they become friends. Fucking, uh, Gina Davis, the fucking Alec Baldwin, and our girl, Ron- Winona. Everything fits so, so well. I mean, the Winona character, the kid character who feels, you know, 
shunned by her family. She's the wallflower and she can be this bridge between the real world and uh, Alec Baldwin, Gina Davis and everything about it's great. Exactly. Fucking that. Was this pre or post fucking Winona's uh, fucking uh, her uh, jail time? Her that days. was Mr. Deeds. That was Mr. Uh, way after this. Mr. Deeds was like nine. That was like ninety nine. You mm. know, that was when I was listening to fucking uh, significant other and shit, man. No, or it might have been two thousand. Maybe like White Pony. Fucking! I wish I could go back in time. And, and hang out with Winona and hope that, like, fucking just, like, that weird thing, that thrill she got from stealing stuff. Maybe I could have just been there shopping with her and she just instead wanted to fuck in a p- private uh, public place. It's like, you're, well, hoping just, she'll, you know, she, you're hoping she'll get the idea of, of maybe she would get that same urge at stealing your virginity. Oh yes, there you I'm go. Fucking doing it over and over again, like fucking. Uh, my my boy Zach, he's gonna come over. We're gonna go shopping, fucking, uh, and I'll be like, hell yeah, fucking. And we do it every other day, all every think, other day. What do you think she's aged well? Like what? It's Stranger Things or whatever. Stacy, what Stacey. you know? That was kind of her resurgence, her little comeback with Stranger Things. But she hasn't been doing. You'd think you'd see her in movies and other shit too, but it's just like no, it's Stranger Things. You know what I mean? Maybe she doesn't want to do movies. Who knows? She did this random, because Keanu Reeves, he went through his red box period, right? Uh, John uh, Wick pulled him out of that. And, uh, but yeah, he was doing a Bruce Willis and he was fucking going through this weird shovel fucking red box movie period. And he did this one with Winona Ryder about like this romantic comedy about them going to a wedding and they meet on a fucking train or a bus or something. I don't know. Oh, I saw but, that. And it, it was a shit. Probably. It's probably shit. I oh, watched a couple of those. It was like uh, a Sundance movie or some shit. Were you going to yeah, bring up the, the, the how they, she said that they might be married in real life? Is that what oh, you're bringing up? There? No, Gee, I wasn't, the, but I've heard there was that, that story. that story where like, apparently while they were filming Dracula, fucking they had like a real... I, I don't know what the story was. I assume it was probably like, oh, the priest was real. I, I, th- was I think they were... Serum. But I thought they were... Were they dating or no? I don't Did know. Did they date? Anyway, continue. I don't know, fuck it. But like, apparently, yeah, the way they the the priests and everything they got married in the movie. Apparently, like, oh, technically that w- w- happened in a way where it was like fucking, it was kind of official or something. I mm-hmm. I never really read it, but I just assumed it. But like, fucking uh, Gina Davis, very Stacy. It's so weird. Why? Why did Coppola put Keanu Reeves in that fucking movie? I'm not saying he's not great, but is he not at a place? You have someone like Gary Oldman who's really all in on Dracula and he's a fantastic actor and things like that. And then you got fucking Ted Theodore Logan, Ted Man. Theodore Loganing the whole movie up, trying to do this really weird old, it's like old English, even though they're supposed to be in Transylvania. Doth I will killeth Dracula. It's like what? It's like he he's doing Bill and Ted on the weekends and on the off days, he's coming and doing this and he doesn't know how to turn one or the other off. Because He's fucking, like, that's what you do. Fucking Francis Ford Coppola, he was such a big fan of fucking uh, Bill and Ted. He was like, "Fucking, I'm letting it happen. I'm letting it happen. I like that he plays it that way." Yeah, they used Me to too. fuck with me. I'd see the sign, the Beetlejuice sign there, and even then, that's the font. That's the font on the front of the movie. I'm like, why doesn't it say that on the front of the movie though? And it used oh, to yeah. be like, I used to be like Beetle Goose, Beetle Guy. What the fuck is this? I don't think I ever noticed. I don't think you I never ever noticed that. It was, noticed. It had to have been. A studio thing after the fact, yeah. And I wonder how Tim Burton feels about that now, because now it's, you know, immortalized as BJ, you know. And I think oh, that's yeah. what she called him on the cartoon too. Too, she called him BJ. Oh yeah. Do you have a bear with him? The fucking this is fake cool. your ass. <laughs> I like it. The turf and he's digging through. Oh, I don't know what man, the fuck that that's supposed to be. The so cardboard. 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 Fucking genius. That would take forever. See, fucking, if I was a billionaire, I'd, I'd build my house like this to be like a big fucking thing like this. You just dig into it and it's like fucking. Wouldn't like, that. Oh, yeah, uh, it's, a, it's the home you can dig into. Wouldn't Hell that yeah. text and shit on the cardboard box he dug out be like super fucking big? Because it looked almost like to scale of them as human beings now. Like they're supposed to be tiny. Fucking uh, no, Aaron. You're thinking about it too hard. Oh, hold on. Isn't this awesome when he busts out? This is iconic. I love it. He fucking rises. Yeah, it's really cool. Fucking Chad. Look at that. Can't even see they, the wire. 
They had, well, they didn't shoot it. They didn't use a wire. They fucking they they had him just pull his boner out and it lifted him up and he just put a <laughs> a, a, a green cock sock on it. There you go. <laughs> Look at it. He's the ultimate womanizer, man. He's so great. Exactly. I know we are seeing it for the first time, and it is halfway into the movie. Oh, is You're it really? You're officially halfway. Fucking, that's what's so good about movies like this, where it's like they had a great character, but it's like we didn't, we don't have to fucking set the whole thing on him. Like he, he basically he has like three sections in the movie, really. Like fucking, he shows up here, and then like there's a little section later where he's trying to get her to like, okay, say my name three times, and then I can come out. And she, and that that's hurt. the big climax where he's unleashed and shit, and you see like the, like. Step right up, over, over, and he's like the fucking circus and all that shit. It's it's awesome. It's a great build up. It's a great climax, and um, yeah, I mean the they tease used it. To scare the shit out of me as a kid. Yeah, <laughs> we come for your daughter, Chuck. Yeah, it's great. And then, yeah, kinda, it was creepy as fuck. What's kind of funny too is like uh, they set it up in a way to where it's like fucking basically is he like a a, a bumbling fool or is he like really smart at what he does? And like fucking in a way, he's just a trickster. At, at the end, whenever it, it, it turns out, like they finally get him to come out and do it, he still kind of acts like a goofball, like here, where it's like you were almost expecting it to come out and it just be like complete bad shit, like fucking all kinds of claymation. I mean, it becomes that, but like at first, it's almost like fucking they could have done two different endings. One where like he comes out and it's like fucking like he's really <laughs> good and scares the shit out of everybody yeah. and like. Or, or this other one where he's just kind of fumbling through it and kind of like fucking barely trying and then fucking like, okay, now I'm going to marry the daughter. It, it's pretty uh, Chad. It's pretty Chad. Ooh, yeah. What? What? See, how can you not want to fuck this man? With the fucking makeup on. Did you know that they were originally going to make uh, Beetlejuice 2, Beetlejuice Goes Hawaiian? Yeah, we've all heard that story a million times. I mean, but yeah, like, what a terrible idea. I don't know if Tim Burton was like attached to do that. But they were literally going to do Beetlejuice Hawaiian style or whatever. Um, was, was that like their, uh, maybe, maybe they were the same as the fucking Batman kind. And they were like the Batman people. And they were like, we don't want him to fucking come and fuck up the next one. But we want to sell toys and shit. He's going to make it dark and weird. I, Beetlejuice goes Hawaiian. That's the movie it's got to be. I like, <laughs> like. You can't change it. I just. I like. Go ahead. I just want to know like what. Because, you know, they all come back the way that they died. Right. I want to know how he got like that. Well, did is he like drowned too, is, or like, well, did he hang? What? Well, he was a I, juggalo. Well, I yeah. Well, no, no. So, like, I wonder if only these people exist in the neither world, or if it's possible there's like demon types that are born well, of I the know nether he's, world. He's or, a ghost, but he's fucking like, I, it's like, it's, it's almost as if he's been around for so long that he knows how to do fucking everything. And he's because he's a like he's a poltergeist, sh- right? Didn't I give him like he's like a different name? I don't remember, but he's he's a poltergeist. Yeah, yeah he's a poltergeist. So how do we know that a poltergeist? We don't know. They don't explain. Maybe a poltergeist is also a human being that lives he's a like particular an life. Maybe he's an outs. I don't know. In there, or maybe a poltergeist. But if he was on Earth, you'd think to be dubbed a poltergeist in the afterlife, you'd think you would have to do some heinous shit. So I imagine he was some kind of fucking like rapist, or he kind of seems like a used car salesman. So that, like, like it's like, as if he's a the bad guy in this, but he fucking he he, he uh, likes to play with his food pretty much. <laughs> It all goes full circle. <laughs> what if it is like Columbus Day? Like uh, we we like to think of Columbus Day as this happy go lucky character, kind of like Beetlejuice. Uh-huh. But like fucking he uh, fucking you go back and read his un his unedited journals. He he liked to rape uh, little girls. That's fucking. Uh, <laughs> that's not cool. Fucking fuck you, <laughs> lame. Why are you talking like fucking King Cobra? <laughs> <laughs> why why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I? I'm slowly becoming him. I'm slowly becoming him. <laughs> bitch him. Here's the big scene in the movie where they fucking reenact that weird song fucking about banana. Six, the right fuck, banana. Seven, yeah, it's fuck, like a fucking eight, fuck, play. Um, I thought you were going to say. A uh, fucking said, sing-along live-action play. It's like I a fucking it. plague. It's like plague, a fucking pretty plague. Pretty much. I love yeah. uh, the shrimp cocktail fingers that turn into like the stupid gloves. So this is, yeah. This I like is when the way. dad just pulls out his cock and just starts beating off all over the table. He based yeah. that turkey. <laughs> he based and all the eat. fingers. And then they eat it as a family. It's a fucking lobster. <laughs> lobster like, pudding. Lobster we're pudding. out of tartar sauce, but this will lobster do, Dad. Yogurt. 
Fucking, uh, uh, she's got fucking Winona. She's got the crazy funky cosplay hair. <laughs> Big Stacy. Dad just gets up on the table, busts that father's milk all over. You guys know who Dick Cavett is, right? When Dick I Cavett, start, yeah. Dick Cavett, yeah. He's related no, to Davey Havoc. We got Dick Cavett. He was a legendary talk show host. And uh, you might have seen his clip on Forrest Gump when they superimposed Forrest Gump in that famous John Lennon interview. No possessions, mm-hmm. too. Man, that's got to be tough. Well, it's easy oh, if you yeah. try, Dick. You know, that was the Dick Cavett show. He dig havoc. He should definitely havoc. This is yeah. This is so basically. Have this dig. is how Gina Davis and Alec Baldwin decide they're gonna scare him. They fucking they basically went full fucking like ventriloquist. They're doing the basically they found all their portals like in those office buildings, like the mm-hmm. same uh, where the fucking uh, John Cusack hangs out. They fucking they they just all they play them all and like fucking uh, Winona Big Stacy. Yeah, and obviously uh, the this has the adverse effect. Right, they just become more intrigued by it, and then they set up their big seance or whatever. Oh yeah, which fucks everything up. It fucks everything up. It's such a fucking just a mess. Daylight coming, me one. It's really fucking strange. You know what creeps me out in this movie? It used to creep me out was the fucking pastor that was marrying Beetlejuice and Lydia. That little fucking thing. He looks like. He, he's he fucking looks like cool. The, he's the best one in there. He's like, "What's up, guys? I'm really fucking high." Dude, dude, Thought Scarlett, I was be late. dude, Scarlett O'Hara doing that mambo twist on your dick, doing that twist. <laughs> I called her Scarlett O'Hara again. <laughs> but yeah, so <laughs> he's creepy. That little that, that pastor. He reminds me of like what you see in a fucking night terror when you have sleep paralysis. He's that little like thing he came in the, out of fucking salad fingers. He's that little thing that's in the corner of your room at night when you have sleep paralysis and he's just staring at you. Like, what the fuck? It'd be no- oh, yeah. <laughs> Imagine you wake up in the middle of the night. Imagine you wake up in the middle of the night. You can't move. You're fucking frozen. And that's he's happened fucking to me. You. He's fucking you. I've had that happen to me. Fuck that. He's what? fucking you. It's You've terrifying. Been- yeah. Tell me about it. Big dick. Fucking terrifying. (laughs) It happened right after my ex. It happened to my ex. Was your night terror demon like a big old man dingo? (laughs) It was just weird. Like I couldn't move and I couldn't talk. I couldn't like fuck. I was trying to. (laughs) That's usually how rape goes. (laughs) That's the that's the struggle. Tape on my mouth. Okay. See, I I used to have them all the time, and I used to think that I was just having a dream. Oh yeah, like I remember I'd be playing a game and he'd pass out, and fucking. Well, listen, I, I used to think all the time. I would think like fucking. I would have these dreams where I'm fucking like I'm. I have dreams where I'm just laying there, but I can't move, and it's like fucking. Are those were those technically? Were I, was I technically awake and I just couldn't well, move? He would he would scream, and I thought he was fucking with me. See, I didn't know he fell asleep, and I'd be playing the game, and I know right here. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> we talked. We talked about this plenty of times. No, no, but I've never Hold heard him do the impressions. That was great. Listen. I look over and he'd be staring at me all scared, like looking like freaky and shit. Like he's possessed. I'm like, what the fuck? Like he's in that, right? he's in that weird middle plane yeah. between sleep like, and fucking right? right. And he would just like stare at me for a little bit and be like, if I can just go back to sleep. I'm like, what the fuck? You could literally nut in my face and I wouldn't even know. <laughs> yeah, he'd be staring were, at were you. Like, you were you know. calming him down, stroking his head uh, and stroking yeah, his dick? Go to like, bed, sweetie. It's okay. Him. There you go. <laughs> Wake up, Zach. See, look. They just, they fucking, they loved it. It was like a fucking amusement park ride. They're like, fucking let the ghosts come down here and fucking, let these ghosts come down here and fucking make a, make a fuck out of us. Basically, it's it's good times. right in our ass. (laughs) I can't wait to do it again. Dance around, have lobster people fucking grab us from a table. Big shed. Yeah, Yeah, so. Fancy ass dress. So when they come back for the seance or whatever, I think that's when they bring Robert Goulet and shit, and it's a little bit of a bigger party. No, oh, I was thinking fucking, uh, what's She's his so name? Goth. I was thinking uh, Robert Goulet, Dave Goulet from fucking uh, Fuller House. Fuller House. Robert yes. Goulash and David Kool-Aid? <laughs> what did you say? Yeah, it's not even close, though. Gothic. To... Goth sick. She's she gets it from her mom. Stacey. Her mom's like She's dressed up all Stacey. dressy, fancy goth. My favorite thing Robert Goulet's ever done is that episode of Simpsons when Bart turned his treehouse into a casino. Awesome. She dressed up like Noob Sabot over there. <laughs> Noob Sabot dressed like her. This is this predates it. One glove on. That's fancy. You're a flake. You've always Dude, been a flake. Fun. 
Yeah, go fuck yourself. He, he's the guy that's on the fucking TV in fucking Nightmare on Elm Street 3. Who gives a fuck what you think? Big Chad. That guy? Yeah. That's Dick Cavett. Movie. He was in Nightmare 3? Fucking on the TV show. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I, I, guess I, I guess I didn't realize I was, Dick Cavett was in that too. See, I'm the big Chad who remembers him for something cool. You were like fucking like, oh, he was on fucking some stupid shit. I mean, he was on the the TV as a reference to his real career, obviously, but yeah, I just never caught it. <laughs> he was on some stupid oh. shit. No, no, if he was on TV for years, that was just him building up his fucking repertoire so he could be that character in fucking Nightmare on Elm Street 3, Aaron. Fuck. So, uh, oh, I forgot that. Uh, the new Chucky series came out too. Did you guys watch that yet? Oh, it's out. When did it drop? Yeah, yesterday. I think today. It, it literally just, just fucking just is now. happening now. How yeah. how could we have watched it? I don't know. You could have watched it. <laughs> it's happening right now. Did like, they right? have? It uh, have happened at like eight or nine, and you got a fucking jerk off little minute of it. Is there any like embargo till after it airs, or has there been like advanced reviews going up from like websites or people that have seen it? His face is, looks really fucking weird. I don't know. I in mean, it first... changes in every movie. I, I, no, I know, know, but in this one, it just all the pictures I've seen, they are all different. Like, they use a lot of different dolls. I don't know. Like, they don't look the exact same. Who but they cares? Al- but they always do that. They've always done that. Um, Who cares? Like, we're watching Beetlejuice now. Beetlejuice. So he finds That's the book. Good, you, you found it. And he oh, can though, fucking like summon shit book. with this too. That's he has the fucking. You know what's funny is like uh, back in the day, me and my my friend uh, Jared, we got all into like fucking like uh, horror movies and shit. We kind of got into like the uh, like basically we were kind of like those little shits that the the satanic panic like they were talking about like fucking in a way like we were like fucking yeah man let's go to the library and let's get like a book on fucking like magic and shit let's do like fucking like oh yeah like all this shit we're gonna get the fucking telekinesis or something like we 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 like tried that once and fucking i remember we went to the uh we went to the library and we fucking went down uh to the adult section fucking we uh we found the books and uh it was like yeah man this is the one we should get my mom had it fucking it's got weird shit in there it's like fucking dark occult shit it's like metal and shit like fucking uh, so we get it and we're like we're like uh going uh, like uh, my mom's friend took us there as a family friend and like fucking they went up there they were they were doing something in the other part. We we got the books. We were going up. We were heading up, but we stopped in the middle section where there was like a back door. And they thought we were trying to leave and steal the books. And it was like fucking. They were trying to steal them because like fucking. They they knew that we wouldn't let them rent these books. These are fucking adult books. And it's like fucking. It's like all this shit. Like we we got in trouble. I, I assured them like fucking. I wasn't trying to steal the book. I didn't know where I was supposed to go. I've never been to the library. I don't fucking read. So like fucking yeah, like uh, we're taking them there, and it's like yeah, it was fucking weird. But it was funny because it's like fucking uh, the these uh, these adults were like fucking these weird satanic kids. And fucking like that's funny because it's just like fucking uh, this shit is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Snake Beetlejuice looks like Don Knotts. Oh yeah, oh, man. Looks yeah, like that's a mix. To creep the fuck out of me. I wouldn't have been surprised if you would have got that book at your school library. We were talking about that in a personal chat uh, between like the goat and everybody and Bat Thirty Two, but. School libraries were fucked up because, you know, as shit was censored, like in my classrooms, we couldn't watch anything above PG or PG-13 in some cases. Uh, But in in the library, we could check out any Stephen King. We could check out Mein Kampf. We could check out Stephen King books that had all kinds of sex and gratuitous sex scenes and talking about cum spurting and all that shit. School is fucking That's kind of like the dude who made Fight Club. Like, we had those Chuck fucking books at our school. Uh Uh-huh. Like the hardcore ones. That's what Lucas used to read. He'd read all those. Well, I was I was telling the story about how I was in the library and I was printing out Alice in Chains tabs, and then he's the part. Oh yeah, no, it's great. <laughs> it's showtime. No, this is not. That's before. Basically, yeah, this is where everything shits hits the fan, and then Gina Davis and uh, Alec Baldwin they have to go, and that they've got one option left, and they got to fucking they got to pull the wild card, if you will. Mm-hmm. Fucking the kamikaze himself. <laughs> I love that. So yeah, they fucking they 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 enlist the help of our boy Beetlejuice, and fucking he shows up, and they they fucking cut open the top of Marlon's head, and fucking he's just there, and he goes, "This is your friend on drugs." 
Okay. What? <laughs> what the fuck? That was, that was that scary that movie. Scary Remember movie when Beetlejuice? See, Beetlejuice was in fucking Marlon Wayne's head. They opened it up, and he's just like fucking hanging out. Oh, the Beetlejuice. Yeah, Howard Stern. Yeah, yeah Beetlejuice. <laughs> <laughs> the Beetlejuice. You called him the Beetlejuice. Well, he, to me, he's the Beetlejuice. He's he's overtaken this Beetlejuice. They should remake it with him. <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> See, to me, go on and I, do like, I always, I always, Beetlejuice. I always figured, why do they call him Beetlejuice? It had to have come from. I think he looks exactly like Snake Claymation Beetlejuice. That looks like <laughs> like the model of the the midget black Beetlejuice that they got. Like that's fucking him right there to a T. Has to be. Shit. Yeah, the you fucked should up. Be yeah. able to see it on Wiki or something. Like why they call no, him Beetlejuice? I, yeah, I don't know. I just, look it you know, or maybe also a reference could be the shrunken head because when he gets his head shrunk at the end by that witch doctor, and because right. Be- Beetlejuice has this weird peanut shrunken. <laughs> I don't know. Big but he almost kind of looks like Pinhead, but a small body Pinhead. <laughs> fucking Beetlejuice. Would yeah, you fucking good. would you fuck him through that gap in his teeth? I like that video where he's at, they're asking him questions and he's way off. <laughs> I guess no idea. It, it'd be it'd be way easier now because now he lost the teeth. He just got fucking like a couple of. <laughs> it looks like Chad. missing Link skull. You know, just like no teeth and fucking Chad, fucking Chad. But he's got a big dick. I bet it looks hey. like Beetlejuice too. <laughs> the the thick, fucking thick shafts, the, small head. The the, <clears throat> the football team here. <laughs> I love it. He's. I'm not your coach. He survived. I I fucking for some reason I wanted a, a Saturday morning spinoff cartoon with just these guys and they were hanging out with the fucking Globetrotters from the fucking uh, Scooby Doo cartoon, mm-hmm. just going around solving crimes and shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Gina Davis like how shows that's up every once in a while. Supposed to be like a, a fucking <laughs> that area back behind him has that guy moving around. Fucking Gina Davis is fucking uh, perm. It's it's big Stacy. Mm-hmm. Wants your sperm. <laughs> exactly. Fucking what if that's like fucking she she got like fucking oh you're my hair like see we need that that porno where Gina Davis is like fucking milking you for your cum otherwise her hair is gonna straighten out like oh you gotta give me that Jerry curl juice fucking just fucking just sucks it out of the tip of your cock this fucking, fucking it, rubs it is that what design, is that how right? Ice Cube used to do that look oh yeah oh yeah all those those gangster rappers they had to jerk each other off so they could get product what the fuck is up with oh, this yeah. design too it's so weird. It's got this weird uncanny valley type thing going on during like the daytime and the real world shit. I don't know. It's so odd. And then obviously like the neither world and all that shit's like a fucking cartoon. It's I awesome. This is like a backyard porch. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's, it's so it, weird though. Like, yeah. I houses on stilts always fucking made me think because it's like, well, what happens if a storm rips through? You guys remember that house on in Lethal Weapon Two? That house on stilts that the South African fucking crime people lived in rigs I fucking lethal weapon to once and i don't remember it <laughs> i need to go yeah. over them it's been a while it's weird the the movies that fucking make an impact in people's lives and sometimes it's just like fucking i don't even fucking remember that movie existed and that, that movie changed my life uh, lethal, lethal weapon i don't think it changed my life yeah. but lethal weapon 2 is one of the i think it's one of the best action movies ever made and it's a I love sequel this. that's way better than the first one I love this scene here where they're playing on the fucking like suicidal, like uh, like fucking the, the teenage girl is suicidal. She's just talking about throwing herself off. The Listening bridge. to fucking the cure, probably. And she wants to fucking like, oh, I wanted to be with you because like fucking I wanted to die and be with you. And then I, I love the line where I think Gina Davis says fucking uh, dying doesn't solve all your problems. Well, she says something that's really funny to me. Fucking like uh. Oh, well, you think uh, dying makes things any easier? Like, uh, it, it's very clever, like, to think about that in an instant where it's like fucking the suicidal teenager. Fucking the, what if somebody could take him aside and like, you think of fucking uh, things are going to get easier when you're dead? It's fucking harder. It just sucks. Big Chad. This is a popular cosplay, you know, when they're all fucking warped like this. Oh, fucking, if Chase going cosplayed as Gina Davis right there, I'm I'm cuming. I'm cuming. Oh, that's that. the big cum eyes. <laughs> that could fucking the big cum eyes. Why do I look? get the feeling you're gonna do a thumbnail with some big cum action and that shit? <laughs> that's weird. It looks look that mouth is a huge target for you and your skeet skeet. Exactly. You ain't gonna fucking, miss. 
So you would be sexier and like you get the big cum eyes through her mouth even. Fucking they just go white too. <laughs> so fuck it's freaking weird, man. Stacy shit. Coach? So you think her mouth is like her fucking like she opens up a big f- f- fucking crocodile mouth. Like fucking she should have done it with her pussy. She should have done something clever with her pussy. I think it's great too. It's like like you were talking about the stop motion. The fact that it's going for this weird, almost live action cartoon thing. It it gives them this really cool pass to probably not spend a shit ton of money because like all that makeup is really silly. Like they just got blue paint on their face, like Dawn of the Dead. You know, basic Halloween shot blood on their face, and it totally works for the flick. Look, I noticed this lighting change here is weird. He goes from that, and then he stands. Up. See that? It just looks like somebody was standing in front of the light and then moved. Did you ever notice that? But I mean the. The light was because he was like sunbathing or something. Over I know, like, but like you can tell, like fucking, like oh, that's someone moved a set hand there. moved it or something. Yeah, yeah, very Chad, very Chad. It's something that you'd never notice unless you were fucking just paying attention to the lighting, which most people don't. This, this movie's a master class, and less is more too, because after you watch this movie. You don't want to know who, like we were just doing a little bit ago, you don't want to know who Beetlejuice was in a previous life or how how his origin story, but you think about it. Like, what the fuck was, who is this guy? What did he do? What is he really capable of? We don't know what he's really capable of because he kind of, his party gets squashed before it really even starts. You know, it doesn't mm-hmm. take long. He doesn't really get to wreak real havoc. And it begs the question, like, what are his intents? Like, what would he have done? Like, yeah, like, uh, the the way they build him up and, like, he's so mysterious and he could be, like, super smart and just playing dumb. It's like you almost expect, like, once she says his name three times, like, the fucking, a big worm could just jump up and swallow the whole world, almost. Like, just fucking complete chaos happens. It's crazy fucking end of the world type shit. But then he, he, he comes out and he's, like, all goofy fucking cracking jokes. It, it works either way. But, like, in a way, it still kind of <laughs> achieves that with, like, the big sand. And fucking claymation worm and then like fucking it's a it's a cool ending it's a cool ending this was a, a an, an odd choice too to like oh he can't tell her his uh fucking uh his name uh he's got to do charades like fucking i wonder why that was added in the script do they just want uh kind of uh format it this way so that in the uh in the trailer, it could be like, oh, your name's Beetlejuice? Fucking, uh, like, I don't think I can say that. Fucking, it's probably uh, intended for the for the uh, trailer. I, the fucking, uh, but I know, I, but, it, but the, it, it, it makes sense, though. Like, I, you talking about, you don't like the whole little plot point that he can't say his own name and someone has to like, no, that's I how. Just, it, I noticed it was weird to put it there. It's funny. Well. Yeah, and clearly the studios thought people were too dumb. Like, no one fucking went to school. They don't know what the fucking star is. Like, you just got a Beetlejuice, yeah. But, anyway, I was going to say something, and I don't remember what the fuck I was going to say. Some fucking clever how shit. How hot and how fucking sexy Alec Baldwin looks with his fucking beak stretched out like that. Who would win if they made a Candyman versus a Beetlejuice movie? Like, who do you think would say each other's names first? It would just be like the whole time. They'd be like, ah, saying each other's names a million times. I think technically uh, Beetlejuice would win. No, Candyman would win because don't you have to say that fucking guy's name five times? I don't remember. I think it's five because I remember it being like a gross amount of time, like in front of the mirror. Like, I, I get it. it three times. I know Bloody Mary was five times. I'm going to look. No, Bloody Mary's three times as well. I think they're all three times. Oh, nah, I think it's five. No. Candy Man, almost Candy like Man. I can see them making it longer. So you just have to sing like, the song or something. You it, the, the, the suspense, to it's look. too, it's the suspense is, uh, yeah, it's five times. That's it's five times. So, and yeah, I remember it's like the suspense is a bit too much. She's like, Candy Man, Candy Man. And they turn off the lights like, can't. It's like, well, this is going on a long ass time. Um, you know what I just realized that depot on your uh, chin is for? Like, whenever you're, they're giving you head, and then you just pull your dick out and kind of lay it across their face mm-hmm. to kind of see how big it measures up across uh, compared to their whole face. It's like, Probably oh, it's fucking exactly. It had to have been fucking just a divot that was put there. Do you think that uh, when he had that nose left over, right, that beak, it looked like that fucking. Uh, what do you call it? That plague mask 
Mm-hmm. And the you know when he did mask. Yeah, when he did this thing where he went whoop, he turned his head and went off camera. Do you think it was like made of like foam or rubber where he could just like slap it? Because it looked really cool the way they did it. Because it almost looked, but it had to have been like some weird prop that he could just squish closed. And then because he he did this number, and then next when we saw him again, it was just gone. The, the effects in this movie are big, Chad. They're really great. They're real clever. They're real, real clever. And you could tell that, you know, obviously there's a lot of claymation shit, but just even like the real, the other Look shit. Look Marcy is, Darcy right there. Marcy Darcy. A lookalike. Exactly. And I don't remember fake who. Fake ass Marcy Darcy. I don't remember if like uh, fake ass Marcy Darcy and Robert Goulet, these people that have been added on to the party. If they're just more friends they wanted to impress, or if there's somebody important, and she's like trying—I don't know who she's trying to suck up to. I can't remember. Was she gonna eat something there with that weird little fork, or was that like a, a little thing to clip her roach with? Was she smoking some dang shit? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought. I was watching. Was she went to bite that? <laughs> That'll probably have to be in the thumbnail too, incorporated. <clears throat> that guy's mustache is very Chad, though. That's Robert Goulet, man. Fucking Goulet. He was a Vegas staple singer. Bart oh, Simpson yes. opened a casino in his fucking treehouse, and then Robert Goulet showed up because, you know, he was told he had the job at this casino, and he's like, what the fuck? This is a... And But they were still paying, and he comes in, and it shows him he's singing to, like, the little kids' millhouse, like, Batmobile, lost a wheel, Robin laid an egg. Hey! It's really stupid. Hey, yeah. Amazing. So yeah, we're we're uh, we're at the yeah. This is where fucking uh, they basically decide they're gonna fucking summon the ghosts because they fucking they, they want them to come out and play. They want so it's like we're gonna force them because now they got the fucking uh, manual, the handbook, and they do. They they force them into the the wedding dresses and the the, the wedding shit, and you know they. It's like a reverse osmosis because they're all disgusting looking and they're rematerializing. It's pretty fucked. It's a reverse osmosis Jones, if you will. But what's, uh, so it's just for viewing pleasure. Like when they do this spell, are they bringing them back? Or are they forcing just them to appear? I mean, like, yeah, don't they, like, like make them <clears throat> age or some shit. Don't they kill them? They, they make them. Yeah. Mad. You're killing. You're, yeah. Maybe they're trying to exercise them out. Like uh, when we are getting rid yeah, of Yeah, they're pretty blood. much getting rid of them because they don't want them to be terrorizing them again. So, mm. But they were just having fun with it. They them. were having a blast with it. There, There is a thing that happens that fucking kind of changes their opinion. Oh, it was, uh, it was probably that sh- shit earlier. Fucking, uh, yeah. Uh, I, 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 I ate too much ice cream and I don't snake. remember. It was the snake. I like how Otho is just like a professional now. Like he went home and just boned up on that book for a couple hours. Cause like, I didn't sleep. You know, I was up all night. When they were asking like to make it stop or whatever, he's just like, I'm sorry, Lydia. It's too late. Like, really? You know, definitively it's too late. Like, you you got this shit down, man. It's too, it's too <laughs> late. <laughs> this, the green glowing. Oh, dead. It's cool. It, it looks awesome. It reminds me of the green glowing worms from James and the Giant Peach. I just watched that last oh, yeah. night for the first time. Hell yeah. What? For the first yeah, did you, time? Did you, did you see it on my letterbox? And that's what made me think of it? That's nuts. For oh. the first time? We watched it on Disney Plus. Yeah, because I was like half asleep. Like, I don't want to watch anything too involved. So that's when you go to Disney Plus Fucking and just find dude, some- James and the Giant Peach is my shit. I've I was- seen that movie probably one time. Dude, I love in that the movie. theater. I, I, just I was them, just the claymation of them swimming in the fucking peach. Making fucking shakes and shit, dude. It looks so good. I, I was it. supposed to see it. Uh, we were supposed to go on a field trip in the fourth grade, and we were gonna go see James and the Giant Peach. And like the day of the field trip, it got scrapped. I'm like, well, that's a fucking jip, and I never saw it. So 25 years later, I finally watched. I say it. you probably just didn't fucking feel like seeing it enough if you didn't watch it <laughs> in 25 years. No, no, no. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I, I didn't. Peach is a shit. I, I sought it out every fucking day of my life trying to find I, James with a giant piece. I did it. I'm saying we were supposed to go see it in the theater, and I just that was my one opportunity. I never did, but I watched hey, it. And what? Gina Jeez. Davis as the old lady still hit it. <laughs> still hit it. Barbara. She looks like uh, the fucking uh, the mask that Stanley Ipkiss finds. <laughs> she looks yeah. like the mask too with Cher. <laughs> fucking hell yeah. Oh, it's really shit. cool effects. It looks really neat. What's happening to them? This movie's fucking Yeah, insane. you know what? Uh, yeah, so they don't realize it. They're just trying to have fun. 
and they don't realize yeah. what's going on. They're just yeah, they're just trying to exploit the whole thing and have fun with their dinner guests. D- doesn't it look like somebody just cut like a uh, fucking uh, like they were slicing bread the, the tip of her face off and just threw it to Stanley Ape Kiss and while he was in that fucking river like fucking he, he he got thrown over the balcony or whatever the fuck happened. He's like, I was just looking for my mask. I got it. Sure. I got it. Fucking that was the origin story. This movie. But Boy, it was me. in the chest. It was me. in the chest. <laughs> Beginning of the movie. I want out. How would they how would they do this type of shot uh back in the eighties, right? Where he's really small up front. What would they do, Zach? Do you know? They just sat in that fucking camera or they had it up up in the fucking trees, man. And shot down on it. Fucking uh He's uh, he's right there in the shot. They just have it up. I get that, but how would but when it's again when it's his back? Like when when projection probably too. Oh, you mean when she's looking at him? No, no, no! Like when when we're from behind his back and we see him tiny and her oh. hovering over him, like how do they how do they do that in the eighties? How do they do that? Very I mean, carefully, very carefully. I mean, yeah, I obviously know that they fucking how they did this. Uh, see, if I was him, I'd be recording her saying my name so I could rewind it and, and listen just, to it while I'm masturbating. I just, <laughs> like, okay. Now look, you almost like fucking what crazy shit is gonna happen? Like he's and back he, again. He's got to step it up. He's gonna come out and he's gonna look fucking ridiculous. Look at this. this. Is the no, shit. Did you I see think that it, fucking Jack Skellington skull on top. No, yeah, I know. Oh yeah, I've, I've yeah, I did. But no, I no, I I think it's awesome. I part of me thinks like, oh, it just ends too fast. Like we don't get enough of this. Like where does where would it go? This but, is um, so over the top. Like I, I always think, like he comes out, it looks fucking goofy. Like, oh, was he just like? For some reason, it's always like, oh, he was just fucking around. Like uh, for some reason, it's like he's just gonna have a good time now. Fucking these, but then it starts getting sinister. <laughs> I mean, like I, I just want to give him a carnival. You, I mean, we don't know what happened to some of these guys. Like these guys might die. Like some of this goofy right. shit that happens like, to them, right? It's creepy as fuck. We never see him. We never see him again, and we don't. And it just goes to like, Aww. look how cool that is. Mm. And they're like, oh, this is great. We're not scared at all. So you look, think they, they, they went there? to sleep upstairs? They could, we never see him again. They're dead. Yeah, they, they could have been dead. Well, thank you. Thank you. See, look, he's already fucking like, I'm spent. Fucking like, that was it. Fucking very Chad. Kids. He's basically like your fucking crack addict uncle that shows up and he's really cool, but your parents he's like basically fucking, Ryan. <laughs> your parents always tell you like fucking your uncle. He's he's not like basically he'll he'll make plans and it's like fucking you, your uncle like he you know uh, you will wait and see fucking because they know he's a fucking uh, dope head, but like fucking you don't know that as a kid. Well, I like it too, but he, I mean, his only maybe he's just one of these guys. He, he he had an agreement. His agreement was to. To make it stop and save the... See, look, the the extent to how he fucks with him is he just pulls off his, sh- sh- like, suit and he's got, like, a blue suit under it and he freaks out over it. Very goofy. It's a, it's a no, cartoon. I think he put that suit on him. I think he changed his suit. Like, it was him that did that and he didn't like the suit. I mean, like, I, but what are his real intents? Because his deal was, okay, I'll save those guys, but, you know, you're going to marry me. He he does the trick. He saves them. He scares those people off. And now he's just going straight to, hey, could I call you dad? Whatever. He just wants to marry her. Like, but what happens after the marriage? Like, what? I, I don't get it. Like, is he going to. What, what are his ultimate plans? Because, yeah. like, they treat him like he's some fuck. Like, don't talk to him. But then, like, he's just kind of a bumbling idiot in the end of the movie. What, like, did they just get lucky? What if, like, fucking Beetlejuice 2, Beetlejuice goes to Y and he literally fucking, like, kidnaps kills and fucking or just rapes like a group of small children or something <laughs> what crazy the fuck? fucking just completely like, this is why they were so fucking crazy like this is why you don't fuck with him he's a fucking crazy person <laughs> he goes to hawaii and it gets it starts getting cold and snowy there he, him, and him and his buddy I jeffrey him and his buddy jeffrey fly nobody wants to see that movie but at the same time i mean i like to think like i mean beetlejuice he doesn't die. It doesn't have like a dark ending. He just goes back to the. He's just right. back in the neither world, and it's like I would imagine he would try and do some shit with other families. I mean, don't he's you like, think? It's like he would do what he always does, and he'd probably move on to a new family, even if it's in Hawaii. Is. Yeah, he's creepy, man. Hey, look at him, dude. Salad fingers. I like rusty spoons. 
I would fuck him. Do you Beetlejuice? <laughs> nah, Do I, don't you say the B word. I always thought it was funny too, like uh, when Beetlejuice like gets you know fucking sent back. Like uh, there's a, a part where they come to like grab her, but he's just still there, and he just kind of looks around for a little bit, like he's like contemplating: should yeah. I just hang out here with these guys, or should I go back? I'm so still. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. <laughs> and he's just hanging out, and I'm like, oh fuck it, I'll go. Like he, he takes it a while, but he decides finally. I love this man of mine. <laughs> <laughs> see, like, see, you don't even need her. You can just masturbate to your own voice. I was just go. talking about recording her. Fucking low T shit. Yeah, I mean, all of this stuff is very comical and silly and stuff. I like how uh, I'm. I'm <laughs> really happy. Yeah, it's really silly. <laughs> he's he's wearing plum. He's he's Moby Grape. See, that's why fucking our boy Angus shouldn't have been so embarrassed to wear that fucking purple suit, looking like Big Jack. Look, he, he didn't kill him. He just banished him away. Why didn't he fucking slit, slit? You know, he doesn't want him to say the name so bad. All he did was, like, send him away. Like, I love that. See, maybe, maybe Beetlejuice can't kill anybody. Maybe that's, a, like, we, maybe that's, like, he hit the people, they went through the ceiling, and then they just went to the fucking, uh, the stupid little uh, model, too. Well, that's like, what I'm saying, though. Like, and he sends us to a way to the desert or whatever. But maybe that's something, too. At least he's consistent. It's not weird. It would sound like, well, he did something really fucking dark here, and now he's, then why is he fucking just playing around with him here? As long as it's consistent, we can have fun with the lore in our head. Like, well, maybe, like you said, maybe he can't. Maybe he's got certain restrictions. Maybe, you know, this or that, or maybe all he's. The, all the people in the fucking uh, netherworld were acting like he's, uh, you don't fuck with him. Like, well, what if they're just trolling? Like, the, the, we'll tell them that they'll think we're being serious, but then they'll ultimately pick him and he'll fucking fumble his way through it. It'll be funny. Yeah, who knows? But I'm really stoked they didn't actually make that fucking sequel. Like when they were talking about it again in the last decade with Tim Burton, right? Uh, it was back when he had that Dark Shadows Speak for movie. Yourself, I am very. I yearn for that sequel. It just, it just wouldn't. It would not be good. It would not be straight, as good. Here's, here's, here's how we do it. Fucking straight to Netflix. So how did he? They didn't even say Beetlejuice. Shot the third time. 100. Per, shot predominantly in front of green screens. Fucking. Uh, um, fucking uh, yeah. But basically, that's all we need. All the claymation will be replaced with CGI. It wouldn't look the yeah. same. Yeah, and see, look, he, you? he's literally like fucking like. Are these guys cool? Could, could I hang out with them? Fucking. <laughs> he's like, I'm gonna fucking stay here. Oh, that guy, that guy, no. And then, like yeah, as fuck soon as you guys, I'm out. As soon as soon as fucking Jeffrey Jones like fucking kind of made a noise, he's like, I'm out. <laughs> fucking is that guy rust me the wrong way. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? Wouldn't that be funny if that's turns into a flame? Wouldn't that be funny if that's who the that neither world liaison chick? If that's who she was warning about, stay away from that Jeffrey Jones guy. She thought it, a, <laughs> that'd be funny if that was the end. <laughs> like fucking no, I thought you. I, I met him, the fucking father. Like that guy's like a total Plato file. Yeah, and Lydia gets it. Fucking fucking uh, Beetlejuice is just a fuck up. <laughs> He's like your crazy uncle. He's cool. Exactly. He'll buy you a beer before you're 21, but that's about the extent of it. Oh, yeah. Come, Mr. Tally, man, tally me banana. See, look, uh, our girl, our Stacy here, she's fucking, basically, this is happily ever after. They're all just hanging out, being a family. Fucking the ghosts are hanging out with the parents and fucking the ghosts. They, she comes home, she brings a, an A on her report card, so they fucking, they, they let her do her, her shit. Like, basically, like, oh, we're gonna have some music playing, you're gonna dance like a stage. So I never, I never thought about this. So they saw each other at the end. It did, did that seance, like, bring them out, and now are they all interacting and they can all see each other? Fucking, uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe she, they still can't see her. But, like, fucking, uh, uh, I was thinking, like, while I was watching this earlier to, to, for the show, I was like, fucking, she was a goth chick the whole movie. Why is she all, like, fucking listening to music like this? It's like, she would be listening to, oh, wait, the ending is implying she's not goth anymore. Fucking this whole movie. Yeah, fucking basically our boy, uh, Tim Burton, sold out. He he uh, basically made a movie oh, where she's uh, a school losing, girl. She's a goth losing school. your goth. She's a goth school girl now. No, fucking losing your goth. He fucking, he sold out. She's she's not goth. That's very, uh, very poser goth right there. I wonder, I uh, goth. sorry, I wonder how Beetlejuice came to inhabit his model. You know what I mean? Like, how did he actually, was he technically haunting it? Like, how was he in there? 
Uh, it's kind of like that uh, Goosebumps <laughs> episode. And how, how did he? How did he get sentenced? How did he get sentenced back? It's like when he said the name, he like had to start. Did he escape he it? Back. Is it like? Is it like a prison? He's he's hanging out in the model, and then like the old lady that works or runs the Netherworld, she's like fucking. He's been hanging out in your model. And it's like how did you know he had a model? Like it's just like the fucking. They're all in on it because they're dead. Fucking everybody talks about fucking the, the new guys that died, and they have that model where Beetlejuice. Yeah, is so dead. yeah, but but why did? Yeah, where how did he get there? But why does he come back here? Is is the neither world like? There. Is yeah, it is it like he's buried there? Is it like a prison and he escaped prison? And he's like, no. Why are we even? Trying I want to know. Out? I literally want to know. Shit. See what's funny? What's funny is why doesn't he just rip off a smaller piece of paper with one of those numbers? Exactly. Yeah. It's really instead, of, instead of trying to switch with this, because <laughs> you'd have two people coming up at the same number. Stupid. <laughs> I love it. So fucking. He just him. throws it in his head. Yeah. Well, well, I guess I'm next. Looks like I'm next. <laughs> hey, fucking. Hey. I think yeah. I just figured hey. the whole thing hey. out. I think I, I think Beetlejuice is just an autistic person. I just got mad King Cobra vibes from him, like the way he took that and then like looked at it, like, oh, he won't notice that I just took uh, his. Look at him. I want to know what. Hey. I want to know what the. He's like, hey, this is a good look for me. Hunter. I want to know what the big game hunt dude did to get a shrunken head. Fucking big chat shit. Like shot his yeah, tires or some shit. Jump in the light. I see. I want to see her get fucked by the How would they? Of but, but wouldn't they do coffee. that shit? Wouldn't like, uh, what's that whole lore and stuff? The history behind shrunken heads, those weird shrunken mummified heads, like those aboriginals and shit like that. And did they, exactly. did they, did they shrink them a certain like, way? Did they like put them in like some weird liquid or something? Like how they, they some kind of fucking weird, uh, shrill them up. Exactly. Yeah. Anyway, movie rules. It's great. I think it's probably a ten out of ten. If I, if, it's at least a nine if, out of ten. If if I if I gave it anything less than a ten out of ten, I think I'd be an asshole that was just really holding out. To me, it stood the test of time. I've been watching it for thirty plus years, thirty five years. It's a. I think I got to give it a ten. But um, anyway, it's awesome. Shake, Sinatra, shake your body, did, you, did you have any guys? What did you guys want to talk about? Did you guys need to bring anything up before we? Uh, should we read a few comments or? Fucking whatever you want, Aaron. Yeah, I can. I can find something. Talk amongst shake, yourselves. Shake, shake, Sonora. What fucking did all the time? <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah! All right. Fuck. So I'm, go ahead. What? Go ahead. Uh, I'm gonna read uh, Showdown Little Tokyo, Sonny Kennedy. Oh wait, I read that one. My bad. Sorry, I gotta start at the right the right place. Um, this fucking theme is very dank. It reminds me of uh, the Tales from the Crypt theme. You guys there? So we got tons. Of, sorry, I'm just ignoring you. We got tons and tons and tons of cinema anima because we did a we did those in a row. So that's mainly this ain't what I have. A cinema anima. So that's why I'm not reading it, asshole. That's what I'm saying. I'm why saying you bring it up because I was looking through comments and I'm like, you know what? Most of this is cinema anima, so I might not have too much. I mean, there's a couple of things I could I could read. I'll read a couple. Uh, somebody was asking us if we'd do skid, Squid Game, <laughs> even though it's not a movie. They really love it, and it's a uh, it's it's really a good. female listener. I'm like, man, maybe we should do a Squid Game. You know what? Maybe there's something to that. Maybe we hopped on that bandwagon and did fucking Squid Game. Uh, you know, we'd get like a whole bunch of new fucking weird followers and shit. Because that that person, I've never seen them around, and they're they're a girl and they're young. That is not our demographic. Maybe we should mm -hmm. fucking sell out. Amazing. Sam Lombardo on Lord Salem commentary. He did say Rob Zombie is like that vintage candy you see sometimes and wonder if you should try it, and then one day you do, and it's like ew. People used to eat this a lot. He's referring to Necco wafers. You know, um, oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I, I'm glad he doesn't like that movie because I don't either. I think you and Goat are fucking bad. Uh, we they can't all be fucking alphas, fuck. We can, they can't all be sassy males, fucking like us, me and Goat. Fucking, we have achieved total fucking apex. We are the sassy male. Fucking, <laughs> it's better than alpha. Better have you guys Nia. have you guys watched Squid Game yet? I haven't. You did today. Yeah. So 
like I mean, my opinion on it is it's good. I mean, every anything that's overhyped is going to be super hyped. But I was able to watch it no problem. I, I took about I three like days it. to watch. When I see uh, fucking uh, Asian looking chicks in a show called Squid Game, I thought it was like fucking it's hentai. Bait fucking and switch. It really, it really fucking is. Fucking me with all your tentacles. Kind it, of shit. Like, it really is I, a bait I, switch. I did put it in my watch list for that, but now finding out it's not, I'm kind of like, you know, hesitant. Yeah. Did you watch it with the dubs or the subs? I watched it with the Doms. The Dobbs. The Doms. Okay. Well, yeah, it's 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 good. Uh, no, I watched it the way it is. It's fine. No, I had to watch so it. So the with Dubs. Subs. I yeah, think it's the yeah. Dubs by default. Yeah, I I thought the subs were really good. I I can't. Did you dubs. watch it with the subs or the Dubs? I watched it the way it is. <laughs> I watched it. I just pressed play with the fucking yeah. Dubby Dubs. All right. Well, anyway, so the remainder of the month, what are we what are we doing for Halloween? So when is this? What week is this right now? So after this airs, we're gonna have one more commentary, or we're gonna do one more commentary and then like a special, or what do you guys want to do? I don't know. Fucking let's let's keep the options open. Uh, Fucking, there's a part of me that's just like I don't want to fucking do anything for Halloween. I want to fucking have the first time. Well, you know what? No, no, I I agree with you. We don't have to do anything on Halloween, but we. But I'm saying something prepared for Halloween. That's what I'm. That's what I'm referring to. We don't have to do anything on Halloween this year. But uh, are we gonna do another commentary, or we're gonna do something like I suggested, sort of like a throwback type of just like a podcast where we don't have a movie. Um, yeah, I don't want to do anything on Halloween either, so I'm just referring to what we have for that last week, so. But, anyway, thank you guys for, uh, sticking around for Beetlejuice, and let us know what you guys want to hear for the, the last week of Halloween, and, uh, please do remember to like the video if you did enjoy it, and sound off if you were pissed off we weren't showing you the movie, we know who you are, most likely you're from a foreign country, that's okay too. And uh, if you guys would like to listen to us on podcast services, we're we're on all of them. So just follow the links below, and you will find those. And if you want to support us any uh, anymore, we have a Patreon, and that's also linked. If you guys just two bucks a month, that's less than black coffee at Starbucks. Uh, it goes a long way. Gets you early access to all the shows and other uh, perks and other uh, exclusive content. We also have a Teespring if you guys would like to buy some swag. Uh, that also helps us out a lot. Did you guys have a Mac you and Zach? Can, what? Fucking, you can go to Starbucks and get like a, an expensive fucking uh, thing of uh, coffee with or, or uh, water with dirt in it, or you can fucking listen to some fucking chads talk about dank films. Is there anything Mac and Zach's doing for Halloween or no? Something to promote? I don't fucking no. Fuck, we're like the wind. Baby. Do you want to talk about the exploited cinema? Is that out right now or no? Is that coming out on fucking, Halloween? Uh, we are recording that on Saturday. Fucking, and we doing uh, Friday the 13th, part five. Fucking, if you want to join in, Mac, big oh, shed. Yeah. Fucking, I, I, I was going to tell you, and I was going to keep it a secret whether or not you show up. I want it to be a surprise. If fucking, you're, if fucking our boy Bat32 is just hanging out, talking about like fucking wanting to meet Mac, and then also Mac shows up without him ever knowing, it'll be Chad. Sounds good. When is it? It'll, it'll still oh. be a surprise because he already said he never listens Wait, to What do you say? When? Saturday, baby. Oh, like, I I won't be here. I, I I was actually talking to him about it. He asked if I wanted to come on. Fuck. Yeah, it's just I'll it's be, just I'll be in the area at the Cover Bridge Festival. Chad. Way too, and I'm obviously indisposed of uh for the next six fucking days. So yeah, he was trying to get as many people on board as possible as like an anniversary thing because they've been around since the dinosaurs like us. And uh, uh, I think he's gonna have most people on board, just not me, just not Mac. Hopefully Riverman does it, but anyway, it'll be a fun time regardless. All right. Well, thank you guys. We'll catch you guys next week. Like I said, let us know what you guys want to hear for Halloween. We'll take into consideration and uh, what you guys want uh, after that, because after the 31st, we are officially in the holiday season uh, with Christmas and Thanksgiving and all that stuff too. And that'd be fun to make that interesting. But anyway, bye guys. Bye bye puppets. All the good stuff. End of the week at the revival house. Next month's theme, you got to figure it out. Italian zombies are Polly Shore. I slash her with the knife and the girl next door. And one second in, get it all queued up and ready. Hit play in three, two, one. Bye bye, puppet. Zach Pete in a solo cup band. Couldn't this camera's love and Josh and Scott failed and Riverman's bail. Bye bye, puppet. 
Sounds good. Like this country used to. Bible house. Peace now, y'all. Mmm. That sounds like fire. Like this country used to.